for the improvement of food resources, not only the plant resources are needed to be improved, but animal resources also. As we know, animals provide us with various food items such as milk, egg, meat, poultry, fish, honey, etc. So, as the population and living standards are increasing, at the same time, the need for milk, egg, meat is also increasing. Thus, there is a need to improve the livestock. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn about the animal husbandry. Animal husbandry is the scientific management of animal livestock. It includes various aspects such as feeding, breeding, shelter and disease control. So now animal based farming may include various type of farming such as cattle farming, poultry farming, fish production and honey beekeeping. Let's begin with cattle farming in this lesson. So cattle farming it is done majorly for two purposes dairy and drought. So dairy is for milk production and drought is for animals which are used in agricultural tasks like plowing, irrigation and cutting. So on the basis of these purposes the cattle are divided majorly into two categories the milch breeds and the drought animals. Let us see each of them in detail. So milch breeds or dairy animals are those animals which are basically used for obtaining milk and drought animals are those which are majorly used for agriculture and transportation. Now both of these they usually belong to two species either a cow or which can also be called as boss indicus or a buffalo which can also be called as boss bubelis. So now when we know that milch animals are used for the production of milk, we also know that milk is a complete food and it is required in huge amount in our country. But do you know that milk production up to some extent depend upon the duration of lactation period? Well, lactation period means the duration of milk production after the birth of a calf. So, milk production can be increased by increasing the duration of lactation period. So, to get the desirable quality, the breeding of animals can be done. For example, exotic breeds like Jersey and Brown Swiss shows high or let's say long duration periods. While the local breeds such as Red Sindhi and Sahiwal, they show excellent resistance to diseases. So now the two can cross bred to obtain the desirable characters which are the long lactation period and the resistance to diseases. Now like we need proper care and shelter to survive comfortably, similarly these animals they also require proper cleaning and shelter facilities to be healthy and also for the clean milk. So now let's see what all can be done for farm management. Animals require proper brushing to remove dirt and loose hair. They should be sheltered under well ventilated roofed sheds that can protect them from heat, rain and cold. The floor of kettle shed needs to be sloping so as to keep it dry and also to facilitate cleaning. Next, the shelter should be spacious enough to keep the animal comfortable and also to avoid overcrowding. So now lastly, this shelter should have proper arrangement of clean drinking water. 
So these are some of the important points for farm management. But a cattle doesn't only need a good shelter but it also needs food. The food requirement of dairy animals is of two types. First the maintenance required and second the milk produces requirement. Now the maintenance requirement includes the food which helps in the regular uh, metabolic activities of the body and the milk producing requirement includes the food which is specially required during the lactation period. Now if we see the cattle feed it consists of two major components the roughage and the concentrate. Let us see what are they. So roughage it largely contains fibers such as green fodder, hay and legumes etc. On the other hand the concentrates are low in fiber but they contain relatively high amount of proteins and nutrients such as cotton seeds, gram, wheat etc. So overall cattle needs a balanced food which contain all the type of nutrients in a proportionate amount. Now beside these nutritious food some amount of nutritious feed can also be added which are you know like the micronutrients. So these nutrients they promote their health and it also increases milk output in dairy animals. Going forward there are a number of cattle diseases and these diseases can be classified broadly into few categories such as diseases which are caused by parasites. They can be of two types. The first is the external parasites like lice, ticks and worms. They cause this kind of disease. And next is the internal parasite like uh, worms. So the worms cause internal diseases to the animals. The next category of the diseases is communicable or infectious diseases. So as we know the communicable diseases are caused by the pathogens. These pathogens can be bacteria, fungi or viruses. Now the last category is non-communicable or non-infectious diseases. These diseases occur due to majorly due to the deficiency of some nutrients or maybe due to malfunctioning of some body organ. Now vaccinations can be given to the farm animals to prevent the viral and bacterial diseases. So student in this lesson you have seen how a cattle farming can be done and how the cattle farming it increases the food production for the increasing population. It is one of the most important farming in animal husbandry.